Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day out there. Welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. I thank you for tuning in. We're gonna have some fun today. A lot of my videos are fueled off of your comments and this is definitely one of them. Since the new generation Tundra has come out, there are two groups of owners and potential owners out there. Some that love the new generation Tundra and all the new stuff that came with it and some that are disappointed that there is not a V8 available for that new generation Tundra. Well, in talking to some of you and hearing some of your comments and reading everything you guys send me, I want you to know there is a happy medium out there, and I look forward to the comments below. Now, first, let's talk about that new generation Tundra. Some of the things that they improved in the new generation Tundra, uh, the interior tech is top-notch. They've done a lot for the interior. Uh, the packages could be built up a lot more individually versus yesteryear. You don't have to buy entire packages to get small individual items or features you may want. So they've done really great there. Um, on paper, they helped the MPG. Uh, the towing uh, capability is a lot higher than it was. It's basically a brand new truck, all right? The one thing that people struggle with is the fact that the two engine choices are a twin turbo V6 and a twin turbo V6 hybrid. Now. Some of you wish they still had a V8. Well, I want you to know there is middle road. I want you to focus on, before you buy your next Toyota Tundra, if you are someone that really wants that V8, I want you to focus on the model year 2020 and 2021. And that is for good reason, okay? If tech is something you're looking at, those two model years right there gave you more tech than ever before for that old generation Tundra. You got things like push button start, you got things like the Entune 3.0 system, which was Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable, and that is one thing people talk about all the time. So you have some of that tech, the Toyota app work with remote start on the truck. Uh, they did some small upgrades through the years. The 5.7 liter V8 and the six speed were still there, but don't forget the transmission cooler, the external transmission cooler, uh, was pulled off of the Tundra after the 2018 model year. So the engine went through a recalibration. And I can tell you, as an owner of a 2020 and someone who drove a 2021 quite a bit, that engine felt different than some of those prior years, 5.7 V8 Tundras. It was just, uh, it felt amazing. And one thing I always like to say is if you're up to speed and have to slow down real quick and then get back up to speed, as if traffic in front of you was slowing down, uh, the transmission didn't search around, it didn't feel lost, there was power ready to go to get you back up to speed. The 2020 and 2021 uh, 5.7 liter V8 just felt different than the years prior. I'd love to hear how some of you guys feel about that. But if you're looking for some of that new generation tech, Entune 3.0 definitely had it in those later generations. And don't forget, for 2020, they introduced a screen that was one inch larger than the old screen. So you're not gonna get all the massive technology of that new generation, but you're still gonna get a lot of the more current stuff. Heated seats started to become available. There was dual automatic climate control uh, in the upper trims limited and up. JBL sound system was there. There were a lot of things you can get. So if you're shopping around and the V8 is a big deal for you and you wish that you could still get that V8, those are the two model years, if I were you, I would be looking at. Don't forget, there were still SR, SR5 Limited, TRD Pro, Platinum in 1794. The capstone didn't come out yet. So you could get a lot of that stuff in the new generation. As far as MPG on that 5.7 V8, for my 2020 that I owned for almost three years, I was getting between 15 and 16. That's always where I was kind of ending up. I would do pump to pump calculations driving on the highway. I would always get in the mid 15s, 15, five, 15, six. My new generation TRD Pro, my average as per the computer is about 14. That's what I'm getting. It's a lot of local driving, but 14 is where I'm at as far as my average. When I did my pump to pump calculation, I was up around 19 driving it over the highway. So I think on the highway, the MPG has gotten a lot better, but still every day, you know, stop and go traffic, the MPG is right around where that 5.7 V8 was. I've seen online in some of the forums, a lot of you guys are getting great fuel mileage on the new generation Tundra. Unfortunately, I'm not, so that's all I could speak to. But once again, if you love that V8 and you love some of that new generation tech, the sweet spot, the middle of the road for all owners and potential owners has gotta be that 2020 and 2021. And if you're looking for something super rare in those two model years, check out the 2021 Lunar Rock TRD Pro in double cab. Very, very hard to find. Don't forget what was going on at the time. There was a chip shortage going on. There was COVID going on, which slowed all production up around the world. So that 2021 TRD Pro uh, was a very, very special year because 
There just wasn't any on the lots. So to be able to find that, but in the double cab, there's a few of you out there that owned it. I was blessed enough to be able to drive a double cab TRD Pro Lunar Rock press vehicle in late 2020. If you have that, or if you could find that, that's a gem. So that's what I'm thinking. That's the sweet spot of the Tundra going forward. We will always talk about that. If you like the tow hooks and you like the 5.7 liter V8 and you want that truck to still feel like a truck, 2020 and 2021, the new generation Tundra feels amazing when it comes to the ride, the drive, everything about going down the road, the power delivery, everything is great. Still feels like a truck, but not that old school classic pickup truck that we're used to of the old generation Tundra. I want to hear from all of you, owners of the new gen and the old gen. Do you agree if you're into that tech, into that 5.7 liter V8, maybe right there in that 2020 and 2021 is your sweet spot? Comment below. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Be well. Have a good one.